everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Canna Campbell. So today's video is a very different video. I wanted to share with you simple small habits that have profoundly changed my life, in particular 2022. I couldn't, would have never imagined where I would be right now. And I think a lot of this I owe to is these small habits that I've been incorporating in my everyday life. So I wanted to share them with you. And of course, they may seem small, they may seem insignificant, but they've helped me. So if you're open to it, they may add value to you in your life as you work towards your goals and dreams. So the first habit that I've started incorporating in my life is really prioritizing sleep. I have become so strict with my sleep routine, but it's been absolutely amazing what it's done to my headspace, my energy levels, even my passion and motivation towards my financial goals and dreams. I read this incredible book called Why We Sleep and I now go to bed at pretty much the same time every night. I really try and switch off. I have a really beautiful nighttime ritual and I give myself permission to get a really good night's sleep. Now because of that, I wake up so much more rested. Even when I've had a rough night with Tiger, waking up numerous times, particularly at the moment when she's teething. I also wake up with so much more energy and passion for life and I tend to eat a lot better because I don't have that sugar crash in the afternoon because my energy levels are sustainable. So prioritizing a good night's sleep has definitely added a huge amount of value in my life and I believe it's one of the reasons why where I am today because I'm prioritizing my sleep and my mental health thanks me every day because of this. The second habit, and I have to say, I think this house I owe to this habit, and that is affirmations and visualization. I'll be sharing a podcast towards the end of the year about our new home. But to give you a little bit of an insight as to how this house happened, I manifested it. I know this is going to sound really crazy, but the end of the year, I had a bit of an argument with Tom. Not a fight, but an argument, a healthy, constructive argument where Tom felt that we were maybe in a comfort zone or he, we, we were holding ourselves back in life. And it, something really resonated with me in this conversation. And I took myself away and had a lot of time alone to really think about this, whether I was in the comfort zone, whether I was playing low, was I being lazy? So I decided to really open myself up to what are my goals and dreams? If I could achieve anything in this world, what would it be? And I started to think about my dream home. I imagined it being close to the ocean. I imagined it being really light and bright. I imagined it being really modern and very much in line with my minimalistic philosophy that I love to embrace in my life. And I imagined just these like trees and this lightness. Anyway, to cut a really long story short, and I will share the long story in the podcast because it's quite a beautiful story. I, we found this house, it, it came up out of the blue and was meant to be. This is not something I planned, but I definitely invested a lot of time doing visualization and manifesting. And on top of that, I backed it up with affirmations. Affirmations where I gave myself permission to hand all my powers and all my control and my destiny over to the universe. To let the universe lead me for once rather than being constrictive and controlling and very much financial goal directed and orientated. And it has been quite profound how all of this is just naturally and organically like unfolded in front of me. So I think I owe a lot to manifestations, affirmations and visualizations. Third habit that has helped me a lot, and this is not a new one necessarily, but it's one that I've definitely upped the ante on, and that is Sunday success. Just taking some time every Sunday afternoon to make sure I'm prepared for the week ahead. Taking a few minutes to look at my diary taking a few minutes to check what we've got in the pantry, in the fridge, to think about what we're going to have dinner for the next couple of nights, to make sure we've got the right amount of fresh fruit and vegetables and food to put a really healthy, fresh meal together for my family. Also making sure that I've spaced my days out correctly. I'm not overwhelming myself with too many meetings in back to back, which is going to leave me frazzled and overwhelmed. Making sure I've actually consciously spaced them out and I can give each meeting the right amount of time to work together and to connect with the person I'm having the meeting with. 
And of course, in doing this, it allows me then to go back in and prioritize when am I going to work on my health and fitness? By looking at my diary, looking at the meetings, my responsibilities, where I need to be and at what time, I can then slot in time for me, time to go for a walk, time to spend some time with the kids, time to spend some time with the dogs, time to go and exercise or just simply jump into the ocean. Habit number four is nature. When I'm around nature, I find it really cleansing. I find it really recalibrating. It's a complete reset for me. No matter what has gone on when I reconnect with nature, I feel grounded again, I feel humble again, I feel grateful again, I feel clean again. So what I have done pretty much every single weekend, rain, hail or shine, even throughout winter, is get into the water. Get into the ocean, no matter what. Getting my head under the water and just washing away all my stresses and worries. And when there have been times where the ocean's too dangerous to get in, that's when I go and spend some time with nature. Going to the parks and just sitting on the grass and doing some grounding, earthing work. Again, it has the same impact. I feel completely reset and ready to take on the week ahead, no matter what is ahead of me. And then the final habit that I think has really made me, I guess, laugh again and helped me to discover my sense of humor again. And it's actually social media, which I know sounds really controversial and not what you probably expect me to say and recommend you go and watch people on social media, but actually looking and watching funny people on social media. People who have got a really great sense of humor that can make me laugh, that can make me see the funny side of life even when things seem really frustrating or exhausting or overwhelming. And I will list in the video description box below some of these social media accounts because they're absolutely brilliant. But it's made me realize that when I'm having a tough day, I'm not alone. People are dealing with the same or very similar challenges that I'm dealing with. People are questioning themselves just like I question myself every day. And it's been incredibly comforting for me seeing these people, but not only see these people stand with me, but also see these people looking at things in a funny way. And I have to say, I found that my own sense of humor has really flourished and evolved and grown. And I'm really liking this new side of me that's, that's coming up and it's helping me get through times which are really tough, times where I need greater resilience, times where I need more depth of character. So taking time for myself to watch these funny people on social media, laugh at tough situations, confronting situations, challenging situations, has massively changed and improved my mindset. And the results have definitely flowed out into my successes of 2022. So as I share all of these things with you, I would love to hear back from you. What are the new habits that you've found that have really helped you for 2022? Or maybe it's not necessarily just 2022. What are the habits that have really helped you generally in life? I love hearing from you guys. I love seeing your comments. I love seeing your ideas. I love seeing your inspiration. And I love hearing your feedback. So it would be really amazing if you could comment in the comment box below and let me know what you love. And so everyone else can also see your comment and you might be able to help other people, thousands of people improve their life so that we can all live a happier, healthier, and live with a greater sense of overall well-being as well as financial well-being. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed. Every Thursday afternoon, I publish a fresh video for you. And as always, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Ciao for now.